Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for February 28th. Today is the Wednesday of the second week of Lent. Let's have that moment of silence to better prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The glory of this forty days we celebrate with songs of praise for Christ O oh God, all your ways are holy, what God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I saw the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You, you withheld sleep from, from my eyes. eyes. I was I troubled. I could not speak. I, I thought of the days of long ago. I remember the years long past. At, At night, I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will, Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy? Or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is as great as our God. You are the God who works wonders. You show your power among the peoples. Your strong arms redeem your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. 
the clouds poured down rain, the sky sent forth their voice, your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky, your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hands of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. O oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, there is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouth, for an all-knowing God is the Lord, O God, who judges these. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry beaten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the other world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humble, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor. To sit them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones. But the wicked shall perish in the darkness, for not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. The Lord, the Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his, are his raiment, his strong justice and the right. A fire prepared his path, it burns up his foes in every side. His lightning light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All your spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgment, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. The Lord your God has chosen you from all nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant to the thousand generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning everyone. In this morning scripture reading, and invite us and even challenge us to look into how to encourage ourselves, giving gratitude for God's covenant and a call to obedience, which highlight that God keep his promises to those who love him. And to reflect on how we could explore themes of divine love, loyalty, and the importance of living in accordance with God's commandment, with God's will. Looking to our heart in how we serve and share that love to others, which living in accordance with God's commandment involves aligning ourselves, our action, thoughts, and choices with the moral and ethical principle laid out to us through our religious practices, through our religious teaching. It implies a commitment to virtues such as love, compassion, humility, and justice, also remaining more hopeful. By following God's commandments, we aim to foster a harmonious relationship with the divine, with our God. We build a sense of a community and contribute to the greater good it is a journey of spiritual growth and obedience, seeking to lead a life that reflects a values and principles outlined in our daily sacred scripture. And understanding these beautiful religious practices and principles that we might grow deeply in loving God and loving our neighbor in sharing to others the God that loves us, that God who embraces us. So as we continue this morning prayer, we thank God for the gifts of wisdom, understanding, that through those teaching of the church, through those sacred scripture, may be a challenge on us to be more loving, more hopeful, more caring, compassion to one another.
God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us give thanks to God, our Father. Through the power of the Spirit, he purifies our hearts and strengthens us in love. Let us humbly ask him, Lord, Lord give, give us your Holy Spirit. Help us to receive good things from your bounty with a deep sense of gratitude. And, and to accept, accept with patience the evil that, that comes to us. Teach us to be loving not only in great and exceptional moments, but, but above, above all in the ordinary events of daily life. life. May we abstain from what we do really need and, and help our brothers and sisters in distress. May we bear the wounds of your Son, for through his body he gave us life. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to God our Father. Dear God, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear God, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, give, give us your Holy Spirit. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, teach us to lead good lives. Encourage us with your support and bring us to eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.